Hey guys, today as you probably saw from the preview, I'm going to show you how to create this face tracking radial blur effect. I won't waste your time with a long intro and let's get straight into it. I've got a clip here ready from the video no introduction and the very first thing we're going to do is double click on it to open it up. Now we will go to the panel on the right hand side and from there we're going to select the tracker. Now that we've got it open, we're going to choose stabilize motion. Once we do that, a track point will appear right on the video preview. We're going to grab that point and move it right to the center, onto the nose. Then we'll scale the tracker box up so it covers the whole face nicely. Take your time to position it just right. Once you're happy with how it looks, go over to the tracker panel on the right and hit the play button. That's the analyze forward button. After it finishes tracking, just click apply. And when it asks for dimensions, we're going to leave it on X and Y then hit OK. So now that we've completely tracked his face, we want to get rid of those black edges or empty space that shows up. To do that, we'll go over to the Effects and Presets panel. But before we move on, quick heads up, if you want to check out my preset packs, you can find them on my website. Links in the description. Alright, so now in the Effects and Presets panel, we're going to look for Motion Tile and drag it onto our clip. As for the settings, first thing, make sure to check mirror edges, then change the output width to around 240 and output height to about 220. And now, as you can see, those black edges are gone. Next effect we're going to apply is transform. Just drag it onto the clip as well. Here, we want to create a smooth zoom in effect. So what we'll do is move all the way to the beginning of the clip and toggle the keyframe for scale. Then we jump to the end of the clip and we change the scale to, oops, my bad, let's say around 170. And now you can already see our zoom in effect, just like that. Now we're going to duplicate our layer by pressing Ctrl D, then we'll double click on the duplicated layer and we're going to grab the Roto Brush tool to start masking out our subject. Take your time with the first frame, make sure it looks clean and accurate. Once that's done, just start moving through the clip frame by frame and adjust the mask if needed. When we've got the entire object masked out properly, we're going to go ahead and hit freeze. Now we'll go back to the main composition, click on our background layer, this one right here, right click and choose pre-compose. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition, then go ahead and hit OK. Now on that new pre-comp layer, we're going to apply the radial blur effect. As for the settings, at the beginning of the clip, we'll hit the toggle keyframe button for a mount and set it to 7 right away. To see our keyframes, press U on your keyboard. Now we'll space the keyframes out evenly. The second keyframe will set the amount to 0, then move a few frames forward and bump it up to 10, then back to 0, and at the very end we'll finish it off with 5. And that's it! If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, and if you want to see more edits like this, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching!